So I saw an argument on social media, a little debate on Instagram, and um, I'm going to just go back to it just to show you what I saw, if I can find it for you guys. Okay, so right here, it talks about King Solomon, the richest man. This guy was blessed. And this is this is the thing I'm going to say real quick. Before I get into the video, so today, I'm going to be discussing, just to let you know what I'm doing, I'm going to be discussing the topic about was King Solomon black? And I'm going to very much, and this is not going to be a long video because I'm going to show y'all text, and this is for you young brothers, older brothers, with all brothers, you know, do your research on these topics, man, you know, do your research and study, okay, so, this is what it says here, it says, King Solomon was so rich that Solomon was so rich that in today's money, on average, America spending one dollar, is similar to King Solomon spending 10.5 million, now, what was he spending money on back then, I have no idea, but this is another thing, people say God is blessing people, Bruh, I could go through so many scriptures that talk about prosperity and Ecclesiastes and Proverbs. The Bible literally tells you to eat, to drink, and to be merry. It tells you that in Ecclesiastes. Also in Ecclesiastes, right before that, it tells you whatever you do, do with all thy might. So whatever y'all are trying to do in your life, you got to work as hard as you can work to accomplish that goal, bruh. Do not let anything stop you from accomplishing your goals, okay? For all you younger dudes, older dudes, if you're alive, you still have a chance. And a lot of people, they have this defeated mindset, and you really can't have that mindset, man. Like, you have to have the mentality that you are a king. You have to have the mentality that you can do whatever you want to do in your life if you put it forth. If you want to be a cow, you can turn into a cow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to do whatever you want to do in your life, bro. Never give up, bro. Ever. But let me get back to the point. So, <clears throat> it says that, um, so this is really the comments. I had to, I'm going to show y'all what I said. It's just basic stuff. So so somebody said, some, some people are saying that there's no evidence this man exists, it's whatever, whatever. And this dude said King Solomon wasn't white, he was black. He was black. And um, I think y'all may have seen my comment, but, you know, people are just talking shit. Thank you, thank you. Somebody pulled the scripture that I, that I was about to say. Yes, Song of Solomon 1, 5, 1 verse 5, King, J, King James Version, black and beautiful comedy. People are stupid. <laughs> But like, if for you brothers, the Bible says it clearly in, in Songs of Solomon that he was a brother. And I'm going to pretty much explain this when I show you this in a minute. But this is pretty much these idiots that don't know anything. And everybody keeps saying this. So they don't want to admit it. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus was a so-called black man, too. I, I also say so-called because, like I said, a lot of things I agree with um, about certain things is that black people don't have a culture. So-called. A lot of y'all don't even know y'all are from, so y'all just y'all just cling on to any damn thing. But yes, he was a black man. People are idiots when they say that. He was definitely a so-called black man, and I'm going to get onto this right now. So let's go, brothers, to Songs of Solomon. Now I'm not like I said, this is not a. I don't want to turn into a Bible channel, but I love to address these topics. So let's look, guys. Let's look, brothers. What does it say right here? The Songs of Solomon verse. Chapter 1, verse 5, I use the KJ's version, brothers, for you brothers that are wondering. This is simple. What does it say? I am black but comely. Now, for all you brothers that know the scriptures, you know that the word black <clears throat> it literally means what it says. This is not controversial. And some of you might say, well, maybe that's not what it means. But do you know what comely means? Now, comely doesn't mean, like, never mind. I'm not going to get into that. But So, see, a lot of you brothers maybe say, uh, that's just a, that's just a um, <coughs> coincidence. <coughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go to verse six and seven. It says, "Look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun has looked upon me." See, brother, this is my thing. What y'all have to realize is that at the end of the day, I will make videos addressing overall topics, but my my, my main focus is talking to you know people that look like me. I, I am a so-called black man from New York. And the reason why I make this point is because it's like, I live in Brooklyn. But, you know, I say this because it's like, brothers, we're, we're not really ever taught anything. And they don't want us to feel, like, see, they don't want us to know that most of the historical men, like, of power and prominence were so-called black. Like, I'm not going to get into it, but I've done my own personal research. I like to read a lot. And I'll just say, like, uh, some people may have talked about this already, but Mozart, Beethoven, I mean... A lot of the ancient Vikings, hell, King David, King Solomon, the so-called black. And see, that's how you, you see, God, y'all have to put two and two together. 
Guys, put two two together. If King Solomon was black, his father had to have been so called black, right? That's what we're going to assume here. If that's the case, now who is King David from? He is in the lineage of Judah. What does that mean? That means that the Israelites, the children of Israel, were so called black men. That's what that's what that tells me, brother. That we are the people of Israel. I think we are the real Israelites, and I don't think they want you to know that. But I think that we are the real Israelites from the from the days of old. If you read the Bible, I'm not necessarily sure where, but I know in the Bible it talks about how you have the lost tribes. They have stripped us of our of our culture and our lineage, brothers. We we are special. There's a reason why they hate us so much. There's a reason why the white man hates us. There's a reason why the Asians hate us. The Hispanics hate us. Hell, the the Africans hate us. Like they they really hate. They hate the, the so-called black people of America. Like, every single race looks down on us. It's because they know, bro. They know that we're special. Like, y'all talking about brothers from over in Africa. They're, we're, not, we're not the same as them, dude. They look different. There's something There's something very particular about us, bro. Like, dude, y'all y'all have to understand this shit, man. But, yes, bro. So, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to show y'all something else if I can find it real quick. Just for y'all to give y'all some perspective about some things, man. <laughs> Because a lot of you brothers, oh yeah, here's another thing too. I, I don't want to get into this too much. I'm screenshot this real quick. I'm sorry, I got to screenshot this. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't want to get into this too much. But people ask me about the diet, the dead. Where do they go? Now look, I don't want to be this guy. But when somebody dies, I don't want to go here. But I'm just gonna say this: when they die, they don't get sent to heaven. That's a whole other video. But I'm gonna just show y'all a quick verse that just shows this. Read this, brother. It says, for the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Brothers, when your loved ones die, they're not going to heaven or hell, bro. There's a second coming. If, if you believe in the Bible. Now, if you don't believe in the Bible, then hey, I don't really have nothing to say. You know, you can believe what you want to believe. Like I said, I'm not one of these dudes that's going to try to hit you over the head and tell you what to believe in, bro. You have the right to believe in whatever you want to believe in. You know what I'm saying, brother? But, yeah, I was going to go share that. But yes, brother, here's the verse right here, man. Live joyfully with the wife who now have loved all the days of that life which you get with the son. Bro, y'all have to start living y'all's life and enjoying y'all's lives, man. Like, y'all have to start really living y'all's lives and enjoying it, brother. A lot of y'all be depressed and y'all be so stressed out. Y'all have to enjoy the life that you were blessed with, dude. Like like it says in 9 verse 10, bro, whatsoever thy, findeth, thy, thy hand findeth to do, do it with, with all thy might, brother. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. For translation, bro, if you want to start a business, go full flesh with that, bro. If you want to be a porn star, go full flesh with that, bro. If you want to turn, if you want to shape something to a dog, bro, work your whole life to figure that stuff out, bro. Like y'all have to realize, bro, when you die, we all go into the same place, assuming the Lord doesn't return anytime soon. If you believe in God, like I said, if you don't believe in God, you know what I'm saying. But you know. But yes, brother, it's a lot of good information in the scriptures, bro. Y'all really should take y'all's time to read it, bro. It talks about enjoying your life, brothers. You brothers need to enjoy y'all's lives, man. Y'all need to really enjoy it. Like if you're if you're successful, brother, you need to enjoy what God is giving you, bro. Like, don't be brothers, don't don't be sad, man. Y'all gotta cheer up and really start looking at the blessings that God is giving you, bro. You know what I'm saying, brother? You brothers gotta really enjoy the life that God is giving y'all, man. You know, I understand it's hard sometimes, but you can't give up, bro. But I'm going to see if I can find this one scripture for y'all. I think it's in chapter, it's in 8. I'm trying to see if I can find it. I don't know which verse it is. I think it's in the chapter. I could be wrong, though. Yes, here we go. Yes, here we go, brothers. Keep the scripture in mind. Ecclesiastes 8, verses 15. Then I commended mirth, because a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry, for that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life, which God gave us under the sun. Brothers, y'all got to y'all gotta eat and drink and be married, brother. You have to enjoy your life, man. This 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 is literally titled, you know, talks about the commencing the enjoyment of life. You guys be so stressed out. Y'all don't ever enjoy y'all's lives, man. Y'all got to live, brother. And there's another scripture for you. The last scripture, I, I, say, I don't like doing this too much. I don't like, I don't, this is like, I said this before. Talking about the Bible is, is kind of controversial. 
because people, they have so many demons on them, and I don't really want to be that dude to try to, I don't want to bring out those spirits of anybody, but look, this is the last thing I'm going to read, and I'm pretty much going to be done. If y'all want more Bible videos, let me know. I can break down a lot of topics and whatnot, but like I said, it has to be requested because I don't want to be that dude because I've found that when you talk about stuff like this, people get very, very, like, weird spirits come out, and I don't want and I don't want people, well, I don't really give a damn, but I don't really have time for people in the comments going back and forth about the Bible. Bro, I, I will shut everything you say down, but it's like, that's a waste of my damn energy. But So this is my last scripture I'm going to read for y'all. So Ecclesiastes 5, 18. Behold that which I seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, which God giveth him, for it is his portion. Bro, when God blesses y'all, enjoy that shit, man. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth and hath given him power to eat thereof and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of God. For he shall not remember the days of his life because God answereth him in the joy of his heart. Bruh, you only got one life, guys. Whatever y'all want to accomplish in life, y'all got to go for that full throttle. Whatever you want to accomplish, bro, you cannot, you cannot sit back and wait for things to happen, dude. Y'all have to really work hard, brothers. But, hey, look, man, I love you brothers, man. Y'all stay safe out here. If you need anything, I guess just comment, and I will go on the message or whatever, or whatever. We can talk, discuss topics, bro. Y'all stay positive, man. If you believe in God, keep putting the Lord first. If you don't believe in God and want to learn, hey, leave a comment. I try to, like, give y'all some information of what I've learned over the years, brothers. And if you don't want to believe in God and you don't care, hey, don't get offended by what I'm saying. If you do, I, mean, I don't give a shit, but, you know. I'm not here to to offend people with the Bible. That's not really productive.